today, we have come together today to lay to rest one of God's saints. The scripture says in the book of Psalms 116 15, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And we believe that one of our Lord's saints has gone home to be with the Lord. And she's taking a rest now, and today we're just preparing uh, to really commemorate the life that she lived and the legacy that she leaves behind. And so we just acknowledge that God has called one of his children home to be with him. And at this time, we're gonna have prayer and reflections from Elder Gant. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our God is once again that we come before you in the Muslim is now that we know how. We say thank you for all the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for being the true God that you are, the wise God, don't make no mistakes. It's no just to do any wrong. Lord God, that's why we continue to call on your name, because there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. We thank you, Lord God, for being our comforter, our healer, yes. our mind regulator, our bridge over troubled water. Lord God, as we stand before you on the day, look on the with his family, Lord God, the praise the family, continue to bless and strengthen them. Build them up, Lord God, if you will, with it toned down and strengthen them with every. Lord, we're going to continue to call on your name, continue to lift you high. Lord, we just say thank you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Again, we honor the Lord. Thank God. Amen. We have to give God thanks always. We know that this is a difficult time, you know, outside of what's going on. We thank God, amen, for living uh, holy. We thank God, amen, for Mother Marie today time that me and her talked a lot on the telephone. And it's a blessing, I'll say this, amen, to live holy. Yes. Out of all what's said and done, it's a blessing to live holy. And this is what she prepared for. She gave her life to the Lord at a very young age. Amen. Young age, amen. This is what she had prepared for this day right here. And that's why it's important for all of us to get our mind right, you know, and get ourselves ready to meet the soon coming king. Amen. I do say this right here concerning Mother Marie. You know, like I said, we talk often, and in our conversation, of course, she loved her kids, and that goes without saying. Amen. And she loved Jerry, she liked to call him. And sometimes she would refer to him as Ella Lucas. Amen. But one thing about it, amen, she loved him all. Amen. She loved the Lord, and, and I'm going to tell you, you know, uh, it behoove us, amen, to consider our ways, amen, because out of all we're said and done, this this is what the end result's going to be. And Mother Marie was an honest person. She was sweet. She, she was a very sweet person. And, of course, I didn't even know Mother Lucas personally like that as some of others. But after Ella Jerry passed, her and I began to talk brothers and sisters, and I find out her to be a holy woman. Amen. She was a whole, she was holy. Now, I, and I hope we ain't just taking that, you know, uh, slightly when I say that, you know, because when you holy, then you have to endure a lot of things. Amen. Amen. A lot of things will come your way, and Mother Marie was a good example of knowing how to endure and go through different things. Now, everything didn't go her way. Amen. Everything didn't go away, but out of all what happened and what's going was going on in her life, she still was holy. She still conducted herself in a in a holy way, Amen. and that's and that's the blessing part. Out of all what's said and done, that was the blessing part of how she conducted herself. And through our conversation, we ain't never talked about nobody, but we talked about living holy and how much of a blessing it was, and how much she missed her Jerry. Yeah. Amen. She missed Ella Jerry, which I thought that was, you know, it, 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 it was very romantic. Amen. She loved her even after death. Yeah. I hope my wife loved me like that. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to tell you the truth. Amen. But I thank God, you know, uh, uh, for, the, for the scriptures, the word of God. And I know I can't talk a long time, but what I would say concerning the scriptures, when the Bible says in the book of Thessalonians, it said, for the Lord himself, he ain't sending Michael and he ain't sending Gabriel. He said, the Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout. Yes. With the voice of the Lord changing the dead in Christ going to rise. Right. 
Right. Now, I'm going to tell you now, thank God, amen, we ain't going to be able to get up if we don't have the Holy Ghost. Right. 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 Amen. And she had it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I can go on record. I, I believe she had the Holy Ghost. Amen. And she was an example. Amen. Uh, not just to her children, but, but to all. I heard Mother Boyd, and she used to talk to me about Mother Boyd, how sweet Mother Boyd was, and how Mother Boyd treated her when she came from Savannah to Atlanta. You know, and all, and it's good to be an example. That's it. Amen. I, I hope y'all hear me because I feel like preaching now. Come on. Amen. Because it's good to be an example. Yeah. And a lot of times we can talk. We can talk a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we can we can quote a lot of scriptures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you something. I thank God. God looking for us to obey what we're talking about. That's right. it. Right. God looking for us to be obedient and living for God. You are gonna have to suffer some. Yeah. The Bible says that after you have suffered a while, not before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that come up in our lives that don't feel good that we didn't ask for, but we still have to endure these things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because we are an example for Christ, and Christ has made us one of his children, yeah. amen, by his spirit. Right. Amen. So we, I, I thank God for this time, you know, in this hour, you know, not necessarily, you know, the death, of course. Amen. But I'm I'm happy that you can talk about a holy woman. That's right. Amen. Don't leave here without being holy now. That's right. Don't let no jack leg preacher tell you that it's all it's just as long as your heart right. Yes. He lying to you. Amen. Amen. You're gonna have to repent. You're gonna have to be baptized in water yes. in the name of Jesus Christ yes. for remission of your sins, and you're gonna have to obey what's written in the book. Amen. Right. And that's what she did. She was a prime example of it. And that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to follow that pattern. Amen. Because we, her body is here. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. But according to what's written in the book of the scripture, mm -hmm. to be absent with the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Right. Amen. The, the, the body going to go back to dust. Amen. But that spirit that God gave us, it go back to the maker. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that great day, thank God, they're going to reconnect. Amen. Right. Amen. And the dead going to rise first. And the one that remains standing, according to the scripture, ain't going to prevent them that are asleep, but we're going to meet the Lord in the air. And that is not for everybody. That's for the saints only. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I talked to my mother, and I'm, I'm going to come to a close. I talked to my mother. My mother is, is 80 years old, and her mother passed when she was 12. When, she was my, when my mother was 12 years old, her mother passed. And even unto this day, she can't hardly talk about her mother without, you know, getting emotional. Amen. So I don't know what the family is going through on that end. I, I don't like to think about it because I know the connection between a mother and uh, a child. Yeah. Amen. So I don't know what I can say to the family for, on that part. But what I can say is that, thank God, you had a holy mother. Amen. Yes. Amen. And one thing about it, amen, this world that we know it is going to come to an end. Right. Amen. But Mother Marie going to get up. Amen. amen. She's going to meet the Lord. Thank God. Amen. In peace. And amen. That's what I want. Amen. amen. I don't know if I'm going to bury my parents or my parents going to bury me. But one thing about it, I want to be able to meet the Lord in peace. Yeah. And in order for me to meet the Lord in peace, I'm going to say it again. You're going to have to suffer some things. Amen. Everything ain't going to go the way you want it to go. Amen. You have to suffer some things. Amen. But you got to endure it. Amen. Yeah. And that's what she did. I'm telling you. Amen. I thank God for her and I appreciate her testimony and I thank God for her, you know, her and our relationship that we had. We talked a lot. That's Amen. It. But she was holy. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Amen. You got that on camera? Yes. Amen. Mother was holy. Yes. Amen. Thank God. And that's what we're going to have to be. Amen. Amen. So we encourage the family. Amen. Continue to look to the Lord. Amen. That's only, that's, we ain't got nothing else. Amen. Amen. Nothing, nothing else and nobody's going to be able to help us but the Lord. Amen. But we love you and we appreciate you. Amen. May God bless you and have us. We say God bless you as well. Uh, Mother Marie Lucas, I believe she was a holy woman. Uh, when I was a little boy, I participated in my first wedding uh, with Mother Lucas and Gelda Lucas. I uh, was the ring bearer uh, for their wedding and I was about, I was about four years old. And my mother was a part of that wedding as well. And Mother Lucas is not just Mother Lucas to me. She is like an aunt to me as well. So it's Aunt Marie to me as, as well as Mother Lucas. And the thing I would say about Mother Lucas is she loved her husband. She loved her family. She yeah. loved her children. 
And yeah. the conversations that we had, we never really hardly had a conversation, especially after Elder Lucas passed, that didn't involve him. Right. And the thing that I want to impress upon you is that uh, her life, really after she got married, was mainly about her relationship with her husband and her family. That was her main part of her life. And the scripture says in the book of Romans, the 19th chapter, it says, Let us be glad and rejoice, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And it was granted unto her that she be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, which is the righteousness of the saints. And so today I would say she has prepared herself to be ready to meet the Lord. And what we've got to do is make our calling and election sure. Yeah. And we've got to make some preparation for our own life and make sure we have the righteousness of the saints working in us and make our lives ready to meet the Lord. Put on that robe of righteousness in this present world. And so we thank God for the life of Mother Lucas and, and the life that we are able to live and, and carry on the legacy of holiness because God hadn't called us to nothing but holiness. And the scripture says, be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Yes, sir. And so, as elegant was stating about Mother Lucas being holy, now all we can do is live holy for ourselves. Right. She's lived the life that she could live. Now we've got to live the life that we're able to live, and we've got to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present evil world. That's it. The world is full of evil and violence and things that are contrary to God. But let us be that humble child, and she was humble and submissive and Amen. meek and mild. And we, we've got to carry on that same spirit. And today, there's much more that we could say. Right. Uh, but we want to encourage you to let not your heart be troubled. We believe in God. We believe that God got a place prepared for all those who love his appearance. And she, we believe she loved the Lord. She loved the Lord. She loved God because she loved the people of God. And we just heard the testimonies on yesterday of how she reached out to various ones and how she loved people and, and how she communed and and pull people into her family. Let us continue in that same love. And we say, may the Lord bless you and may heaven smile upon you. We love you. We are, we are here for you. If you need us, just reach out to us and we're here for you. We love you. And at this time, we have some remarks from Mr. Ira and various women that may have remarks.
and I'm my mother and father's baby child. For the last eight years of my life, my mother has been like my baby. I know you guys, you hear the same thing. We always talk about our father. And on that day when my mom called me, things had turned when he was at the hospital. It was her and I that saw him take his last breath. And I thought that was the worst experience of my life. Seeing my mom, seeing her hurt. If anybody knows love, it's not when you're hurt, it's when you love somebody and they're hurt. And I had to listen as my siblings, and they all came in to hear the news. And it, it, it was painful. And I just watched my mom. I just never knew you could love, you know, someone that hard to where you could just see where, you know, just a piece of her was actually here. She would come here. She would bring a chair. <laughs> She never met a stranger. She would tell us about people she's met here. She talked to them. But she loved our father. And she loved us children. And us children, as in, we have three older siblings as well. And they were they were her children. We, we didn't grow up calling each other stepsisters, stepbrothers. We all were Jerry children. And my mom loved all of us. And my mom was the kind of mom who, I know some people, you know, people, they, they say their mom is their friend. My mom was my friend, but my mom, she was just, she was such a mom, you know, from the littlest things of reminding us to do things and just nurturing. And it's like she had, it was like something about her where she, she could love everybody else. And when it came time to think about things for herself, it's like it was a block. But she, she was a nurturer. And I was thinking the other day, I don't know if Keisha remembers this, but we had social science fair project. And she stayed, how she would just help us and stay up. And I think one night even a gym was over. Just throughout the years, just how she just, she, she was a loving, caring mother. And these last, when she got her diagnosis and watching her fight and watching her deteriorate and then watching her bounce back, it'll be two years tomorrow that my mom went into cardiac arrest twice. And she, and she came back. That's why this is like, I know it's real, but she's always bounced back. And I, I just, I wish I could wake up. Like I, I literally could hold my mom on some days when she was weak, she'd stand up off the bed and she just sometimes just, just lay her head on me for a little bit if we had to go to the restroom or whatever. I just, I knew she was tired. This also isn't all about me. My siblings, we've, we've worked together. It's been, it's been hard. We've had our times, but, you know, we needed to call on each other for help. Who needs to come sit at the hospital? You know, we worked together. And not just us. She had a lot of church friends and, you know, that constantly came to visit. There was church inside of the hospital room. And my mom, she was loved, but I believe she was loved because that's all she did was love. I never ever thought I would have to watch both my parents take their last breath. And I'm not gonna be long, but with my mom, I had a really great job. And my mom started to, just little things were changing. And I, th I thought about leaving. 
and then some more things just continued to happen and it was just like it was one day it was on a friday and i just it was something was just in me and i said you know what that's it like i, I am just gonna i'm gonna leave i have no job lined up and i just i had all these plans i said we're gonna change this we're gonna start doing this because I bother her all the time, mama, let's start these vitamins. And she would, she would be aggravated, but she would do it. And I had all these plans of just, you know, a miracle and just praying that something would happen. And I left my job on March 2nd. And four weeks later, my mom went into a hospital. And the last time I saw her was two days before she died. On our way here, we were traveling down North Decatur Road. All I could think was, we've traveled this road so many times to go to the hospital, to go to a doctor's appointment, and to think she'll never go there again. Instead, we're bringing her to her resting place. And I don't know how. I or we will get through this, but I pray we will because my mother also had a very forgiving, loving spirit, which I also didn't understand. And I, maybe that's why I feel this way because hopefully I can get 100% that way one day, but she just, she, you know, she was, she was a child of God. Yes. So at all, I just, you know, thank everyone that just over the years loved her, supported her, spiritual guidance, friends, sisters in the church, you know, children, we grew up together, just a support system. And also to my siblings, as well as her siblings, just people we could call on and just would basically not forgot about us through the, these, these last couple of years. And I love you so much, mom. And I'm going to miss you. And I pray you are pleased. Because I do believe God was pleased with you. God bless you, Ira. For as much as it has pleased God, Almighty God, in his wise providence, to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased mother, Gertrude Marie Lucas, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, from henceforth, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
say uh, to the minister, the family, our family, say thank you for those words of comfort. Again, we say thank you. Uh, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I've been with this about eight years ago. same place <laughs> been in the funeral industry you know when we taking care of other people love them on us but what is his home it's a very difficult thing I'm going to miss my mother Thank God for her. And Ira has said a lot of words to speak for all of us. I can't say this has been a chapter completed, a page turned, 
a life well lived, a rest well earned. I want to get a special thanks to Sella Smith's funeral home for allowing me to come back to them. They took very good care of our family. And I say thank y'all. And to the many friends that's gathered today, I say thank y'all for coming out as well. It's, it's so weird that all this love is here. We can't even embrace each other due to this virus, but we know we have all the love in our heart. And I know on a later date, when all this is over, we can come back together again and embrace that love that my mom was all about. I say thank you again for everyone that has taken out the time of their schedule to be here on this special day. But before we leave these grounds, we'll have if Sister Lemon come forward. And anyone that's in their cars, if you can just stand outside your cars, we will have a selection, a song, and we can all join in together as one. Because my mom was all about praising God. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, oh, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Well, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. If you live right, heaven belongs to you. If you Heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. If you obey the word, heaven belongs to you. Just obey the word, heaven belongs to you. Just obey the word, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. One more time. Oh, sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Sweet heaven, heaven belongs to you. Oh, heaven belongs to you. Again, thank you for everyone that came out today to celebrate the, celebrate the life of our dear mother. May God continue to bless each and every one of you is my prayer. Thank you.
righty, this time we're going to look to God in the final benediction. Oh God, our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you've done. Lord, we thank you for the life of Mother Lucas. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for Lord all that you've done for her, Lord, up until this hour. And we believe that you're going to receive her into your kingdom. Lord, we just ask you to look on this family. Lord, as we leave this place, Lord, but never your presence, we ask you to be with this family. Lord, be their protector, their guide, and their comfort in these hours. Lord, in these coming days, Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, continue to, Lord, support this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you thanks. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Ghost rest and abide with us henceforth and forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.